Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 13 of Direwolf20 Sky Factory 4 Let's Play Series. Hooray! Um, storage link cable, I presume I have to replace you to get you to bed. Yeah, there you go. What's up, bro? Booyah. Um, so, um, I mentioned last episode <clears throat> that I'd be working on making another one of these, so I've been saving up my iron because, wow, that's a lot of iron. You basically need a little bit more than a stack uh, of iron, maybe a smidgen more than that even, like a stack and a half almost. Because you need about a stack for all the iron blocks, and then you need the iron bars, and you need the iron plates, and all that stuff. Uh, but luckily, the rest <clears throat> of the internal stuff is all wood. So I'm curious of something now, right? I'm curious of something. If I put an empty wooden crate in there, can I put, for example, um, redstone in there? Did that go into the empty wooden crate? Oh, it did. Well, that's cool. That is super cool. All right. All right. So if I'm just like really smart about what I put in here, it should do a good job of gold quartz iron. That's neat. All right, so let me get all my resources because that's going to be my resource storage, right? Um, you know, basically just just store all the things, right? So let's get all our stuff here. Um, you could probably combine into something like that for me and you could go away for a minute. Do I want charcoal in there? I don't know. I haven't decided yet exactly how the storage thing is going to work, per se. Um, there's things I definitely want to have happen, but I also want to be, like, very specific about what things are stored inside this giant shipping container crate and what other things are stored in some kind of chest or something, right? Um, so what I want to do is set this demote priority. Smaller goes first. Okay. So with these guys being priority zero, I'm going to make this guy priority one so that this inventory gets filled first, this one gets filled second, which makes perfect sense, hopefully, to everybody. Um, what I'd love to do... No, I don't want that. Now, did that remember that you're redstone or are you empty now? Okay, cool. That's interesting. So I put the redstone in and it becomes a block of redstone wooden crate. I take the redstone out and now it's an empty wooden crate because it's not locked. I could lock it if I wanted to. Right, because there's a key in this mod. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm getting the hang of this thing. I like that. Can I do that? I can. Nice. Okay, cool. Osmium should go away. Silver. I don't know about porcelain bricks. Steel for sure. Now, I've already got blocks of quartz in there, but I'm going to take them out and turn them into quartz quartz. Cool. So we've got redstone, gold, empty, iron, lapis, emerald, diamond, osmium, silver, lead, tin, steel, and the rest is empty. Oh, cool. You know why it's empty? Because this had quartz in it. One of these guys was quartz. Remember one of these dudes is quartz? Nether quartz. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, that's cool. That's neat. Getting the hang of it. Bone blocks I should probably put in there, right? I think that sounds fair. Do I want them to be bone blocks or do I want them to be... Oh, cool. Bone meal. Because don't I already have bone meal in there or do I not? I maybe don't. But I could... But I could, because this is bone meal, right? What I should do is move my nether quartz out of here, move my bone meal out of here, put that in there, and put that in there, and now bone meal that's getting generated from over here will go into there. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, and then you can have copper and nickel. Very nice. Very nice. Look at all that. And then we have quite a few empty empty crates left, right? Um. Now I'm thinking, like, what else? I want to I wanna be organized, right? So there's all kinds of stuff that I need to clean up, too. Like, this is my Pokedex of chest, right? Like, I, I want to make sure I don't forget anything that's in there. Clay could probably go in there, right? I could probably put clay in there. That's probably not a bad idea. And I should probably do dirt. I don't think I'm going to put cobble in there, per se. Though I could put that cobble in there, but I'm not going to do cobble. Um, netherrack and sand and gravel should probably be in there, right? Those are things that we're probably going to want in large supply. Um, that's cool. I'm liking this mod so far. It's very, it's very interesting. Um, you know, 
definitely like a light kind of version. So we've got eight more slots left that we can fill um, with materials. And remember, we can upgrade those 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 barrels if we need, right? So we can put the upgrades in them. Um, we can, you know, get to some ridiculous levels, and we can even turn them into metal crates if we needed to at some point. Um, there's a redstone. Invar could probably go in there, maybe. So I want to have, like... Because remember, there's no, like, drawer, right? So we want to keep that in mind. There's no drawer. Um, or, or, or there's no, like, disk, right? Like an applied energistic. So everything's, like, an external storage in this mod. Um, so that's something we're going to want to very much keep in mind. So what's different between you and you? Like, why are you NBT'd? You must have some kind of NBT. But I see nothing. So I'm not sure why. Um, so we basically want to have a miscellaneous junk chest that's attached to the system. Um, to store, you know, miscellaneous junk, as it were. Um, hmm. So what classifies as miscellaneous junk, and how are we going to do that? What I'm going to do is swap this chest to that. Okay. Um, and then let's put away some things in here that we know we're going to want to keep in bar, for example. Now, the rest of this stuff, I'm not so sure that this is what I want to do. Um... But what I would like to do, probably... Now, here's a question. Can this connect to two inventories at a time? Like, if I do that, does that work? No, that does not appear to work. Good to know, though. Good to know. It, we're experimenting with the mod today. All right? So we connect that dude to that. So if we want this to connect to another one of these, we're going to need to, you know, pop him somewhere. Now I'm assuming I could just do that, right? Yeah, that works. Or I could just do this. Right? And then we can just put miscellaneous -y type things in there. Right? Like maybe slime balls should go into the inventory. I don't know. This is this is where it's going to start to get confusing. Like, what do I actually want to do? Uh, what I'm going to do is take all the empty crates out of here. And I would like to lock these guys. Why don't I see if I can make that key? So from the barrels mod. Sweet crate key. Now here's a question. Oh, cool. Uh, can I do this of some form? Probably not. So do I have to take all these out to lock them? That would be kind of a bummer, but I... Probably. So I guess I do this and that. Okay. And then I can put it back in. Not the end of the world. Now, why are you empty? I don't know. We'll figure it out. All right. Um, so let's put you guys back. Did you have something in you? See, this is why we're locking the chests, right? Because I'm already confused about what was what, <laughs> where things go. Dire please. Right? So you guys are winding up in there, probably because you're priority zero. So I would like to make you priority two, which means that when I put you guys away, you're going to try to go into this inventory on my right first. Golden nether quartz and redstone. <laughs> Hello. Does lock not do what I think lock does? Because we have an iron ingot slot here, right? Oh, you know what? We maybe don't have an iron ingot. That makes sense. That's probably what this was. This was probably iron, wasn't it? So if I lock you, and then I take everything out, you stay iron even though, right, that's what I thought lock would do. Okay. Cool. Okay, interesting, interesting. Uh, so now if I put, so quartz is clearly in here, right? This is, why'd you get four? 
You're one. Oh, I see. I see. I see. When I was clicking this, I was opening actually this one. I'm guessing that that's a bounding box thing, right? So if I make you two, you're two. Ah, okay. Got it. That's the problem. So now if I put these things away, they should not go in here. Correct. Right? But if I put something in here that doesn't fit inside the drawers, it goes in here. Beautiful. Okay. That's cool. All right. So let me go back to locking my drawers. I wish it told me on the tooltip that it locked or was locked. All right? That would be super cool. All right? Doot, 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 doot. Now it's when I wish I had Bane Miner. But locking the drawers seems like a smooth idea, right? Um, doing that was not smooth, but that's okay. I'll forgive myself. All right, that's cool. I like it. So I'll be back in a minute once I lock all these guys and get ready for the next step. All right, so now in theory, right, anything that I put in here should basically appropriately sort, right? Um, which is cool. So if we start accumulating large numbers of a thing, right? Like is netherrack, is that something that should maybe be a, be a thing? It is a thing, cool, okay, good deal, right? Um, so I like that, I think that's pretty cool, right? That's not bad. Um, that's all my Pokedex of stuff, so I'm gonna leave that. These things can probably just be sorted into their appropriate stuffs, right? Um, I should have a chest maybe. Oh good, I can right click and get one? That's cool. How about a servo? Booyah! That is cool. Loving that. Really loving that. Item ducks and servo. Neat. Very cool for, for something that doesn't cost any power. That is really quite cool. So you just, uh, you know, auto sort all the things the appropriate way, would you? That sounds good to me. Should have a bunch more iron now. Yay. Not that much more, but a bunch more. Um, so you take care of all that. So that's kind of my, like, clean up my stuff thing. All you guys can come with me. All you guys can come with me. Um, and hopefully this really starts to clean up my, some of my, my sorting stuff. I would like to also investigate, you know, a few other things pretty soon. Wow, look at that. Look at that. How? How cool is that? Huh? That is neat. I'm getting to like this mod. Um, and we can have a couple more of these compact chests, right? As we get more inventories, like I'll probably have like a couple max size compact chests there to just kind of be my overflows, right? 24 and 12 should be more than enough, right? Um, there's also a filing cabinet mod, but I think that's kind of like you can put items in filing folders and then put them in filing cabinets. That's kind of similar. Um, I wonder if there's just anything else. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. So at this point, how difficult would it be to get some of these? Doesn't seem that hard. Right, if I wanted 16 of those, and these guys need gold. This works pretty good, dudes. So far, I am very impressed. Very impressed. Um, look at that. Look at that coolness, huh? Uh, can I get a tier upgrade installer? I can if I make two of these guys, which is osmium and a metallurgic infuser. With a couple redstone. Right, I didn't have that on me. At this point, I'm so used to just having stuff on me all the time because my inventory has been such a mess. But now that I'm cleaning it up, it's like, oh, right, I don't just carry redstone on me randomly. Um, and our power situation should be, like, really quite good still because this geothermal gen is doing a great job. 
This little automation nugget? Pretty cool. Technically that doesn't need to exist, right? Don't think so. Cool. So I can get you to upgrade my crusher. Boom. Set you to split mode. And that is good times. Cool. So that'll get me the upgrades that I'm going to want um, for mechanism. So what else would I need for those upgrades? Nothing really, just more enriched alloys, which is a bunch of redstone. So technically, if I want 16 of each, I'm going to need 32 iron and 32 redstone, which is uh, more than definitely possible. You just got to keep working on this iron, which is definitely one that, if you're playing this pack, do yourself a favor. Get a lot of... Uh, Get a lot of iron trees automated quickly. Should probably have, you know, a bit more than I already do. But I think we have exactly enough iron at this point, right? Yeah, we do. 32 exactly. Cool. I should be doing the compressing and having another metallurgic infuser. We'll probably get to that eventually soonish. Um, but for now, it'll do, right? So come back in a minute when this is all done. How's that sound? All right. So now that we've like established ourselves, right? Like gotten the foundations of actual inventory management and processing of, of resources, right? I mean, I I went ahead and made sure that uh, I had a little bit of automation going on over here. So I can just drop these things in here and boom, they cook, right? Booyah. How great is that? Um... And then it just boop, and then right over to here, right? I even made some speed and, and energy upgrades for these things. Uh, so I've got, these two are maxed out on energy upgrades, right? Um, and then I have just a couple speed upgrades because I found that we very, very quickly ran out of energy in the energy cube here um, with, with 8x speed upgrades in this thing. So 3x is where I'm at with my current power production. I should probably look at doing more power production soon, but we'll get there. Um, mob farm is something I'm thinking of, but guess what we don't have? No Cursed Earth. <gasps> when was the last time we played a mod pack without Cursed Earth? How how will we survive? How will we create a mob farm without Cursed Earth? I don't even know. Um, that's a really good question that I don't have a great answer to. Um, you know, I, nah, I got nothing on that. I got nothing on that idea. Like I, I couldn't even tell you what we're gonna do with that. Um, are jetpacks a thing? Do we have any flight? We don't, I don't see any jetpacks. Um, like, what's our flight mechanic going to be? Flight and immunity against fall damage. Bonus while a full set is equipped. So I can get this glitched stuff from deep mob learning. That's, I think, the only way we're going to get flight. Because there's no angel ring, right? No angel ring. Um... I don't know. There might be some mods that I'm not familiar with that have flight mechanics that I don't know. Because we do have that cybernetics mod. Is that what? what what's that? What's that? What's that cybernetics mod? Um, there's that, right? You can become a robot, which I'm all about trying because I do want to try that mod out. It it sounds cool. It sounds super cool. I want to be a robot. I'm just saying, I want to be a robot. Matter overdrive, right? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Matter overdrive. Right? I hope there's a book for this mod. I really do. Um, is Astral in the pack? You know what? Astral is absolutely in the pack. And Astral has some really powerful stuff. So that might be a really good way to get some good things going on. Because we can do some cool stuff with Astral. I wonder if I wonder if the trees work with the Astral tree thing, the tree beacon. I wonder if I wonder if we would get resources from that. I'm just curious, like not that we need to, right? Because the because the things we got going on are already pretty good, right? But I'm just curious if it would work. Um, so I'm thinking my next step should be to look at some achievements a little bit and see if I can get myself a few more things here. Um, create a tinker's tool or weapon and add a modifier to it. Inflict twenty or more damage on a creature. Create a non-clay pickaxe head cast to start upgrading your tool. Um, I did level up a tool, so that's cool. Craft an ender pouch and L-shift right-click on an ender chest to connect them. Yeah. 
craft an unbroken, unbreakable tinker's construct tool or weapon. Lots of things there. Craft and eat a cyclic heart container. Oh, a weirding gadget for chunk loading. Yeah. Craft and eat and crafting upgrade from cyclic and an inventory upgrade from cyclic. Yeah. None of this looks... The entire glitch infused armor set, though, that might be a little bit of effort. Um, I'd like to get, like, a, a nice, simple <clears throat> uh, um, prestige point, if I can. Um, there's also... The power box. Where are we at with being able to make one of those? Um, it requires some iron and a clock and an advanced energy cube, which we already have. <clears throat> a space-time equalizer, which I don't know exactly. Okay, there we go. Uh, Heisenberg compensator and superconductor magnets needs titanium. Uh, titanium, I am almost certain, is going to be found in the Twilight Forest or Lost Cities Dimensions. So Twilight Forest needs to be unlocked by Prestige, but Lost Cities Dimension does not. So we'll probably need to get the Lost Cities Dimension to be able to get that stuff. Um, and if we look at the achievements, I know one of these chapters, Age of Exploration, we get Dilithium Crystals, um, Titanium, um, Lithium, Thorium, Boron, Magnesium, Uranium, all this stuff is going to be found in that Lost Cities Dimension. Um, or the Twilight Forest. But I think, is the Twilight Forest a void? I don't even know. I guess we'll find out. Um, so that said, this chapter might be relatively easy to get a prestige point out of. Um, this one looks like there's a lot. I wouldn't mind doing this mod, but I think we need to kill mobs to do it. Um... Craft the ultimate installer for mechanism. This can be used to upgrade energy cubes and a few other machines. Okay, cool. Storage. There's just a handful of crafting things in there. Um, yeah. So I think our main per way of getting prestige points will be this para box. So I think what we should do is figure out how to get the velocities dimension. But I think I'm going to try and get this thing going sooner than later. Um, I think I should be able to wrap up this chapter pretty quickly. We need Ardite, Glowstone, Cookie, and Cobalt saplings. That will knock that out. Uh, you can grow ender pearls using ender seeds. Make sure to plant on tilled dirt or end stone. That's cool. Um, craft any of the diagonal fences from fence overall. Sweet. Grow cyclic magic beans to obtain other seeds or flowers. Craft and place a cyclic sprinkler on top of a water source block for faster crop growth. Um, and then we need all the animal crops, which hopefully won't be too bad to get some of. Um, I'm sure some of them will be trickier than others. Um, but that'll this will be the hard part of this chapter if I want to get that achievement. So let's look at what we can do. Um, if I want a cow in a jar, because that's one quest, right? Uh, we need a milk jar. So that needs a bucket of milk. So what happens when I did that? Oh, there it is. Little desync. If I get a bucket of milk, that would be cool. Hello, cow. You have literally one health. So I'm going to hit you on the head with an anvil. That sounds like a smart, smart approach. Cool. Oh, I like this. I like this. It's like having an AE system without having an AE system. It's the best. It's definitely cool. It's definitely cool. I mean, it's cool. An AE system's better, obviously, um, but, like, that's the point, and I like that that's the point, right? Like, I like that clearly an AE system is better. Like, it would be goofy if this mod, you know, the AE system wasn't better. Come here, cow. I need to push you right into this jar. Stand on that for a sec, would you, buddy? Thanks. Hooray! Advancement, condensed milk. Not that kind of condensed milk, clearly. Man, how many carrots did I not get from harvesting those three crops? Uh, so that gets me a cow in a jar. Hooray! Milk for days. Um, so that's one, ach that's one achievement. Nice. Um, Ardite and cobalt, glowstone and cookie sapling. So that's a thing, right? 
Glowstone saplings, I want to say I looked at these and decided that they weren't so bad. Um, but I don't have any of the things I need for them, so that's a thing. Um, redstone saplings would help. Quartz resin, right? Um, blaze powder needs another rack, and mineral berries, which um, we should be able to get by growing a mineral tree, right? So let's get one of those. Um, so first off, I need the redstone sapling. So what I'm going to do is take redstone saplings out of the void filter so that we can get some extra unless I have an extra one over here which I you know I have one extra but I feel like that's my that's my backup chest I don't want to do that you know what I mean I don't want to do that to my backup chest um so eventually we should get a redstone why are you going in here because don't we have another quartz in here Netherrack acorns. I thought we put nether quartz in here. Didn't we do that? Didn't we go out of our way to do that? I thought we did. Dirt, sand, redstone. No, I didn't. Okay, my bad. What can go in here that, you know, could go in here? Bone meal, coal piece. We only have 34 coal pieces. No, that is. that does make sense that that's in there. Copper and the rest are all acorns, aren't they? And some extra resins. Well, I guess we'll leave the nether quartz in here. We'll just have to manually move it for now. Not not the end of the world, obviously, but me, not not super ideal either. Um, so we should eventually see, uh, based on just chance and luck, the redstone sapling do the thing. While that's going though, let's get some quartz resin. Right. So there should be some of that back here somewhere. We've got quartz around here at some point. Which one of these dudes had quartz in him? That's block of quartz. Okay, cool. We'll just have to wait a minute for quartz resin to show up. Um, mineral tree we could probably get pretty easily. All right, mineral sapling. I remember we've made a couple of these. It's a lapis sapling with a bottle of water. Yeah, I did void some of my extra saplings, didn't I? Let's get lapis off the off the list as well. And then we'll put them back on the list later. Hey, look, a redstone sapling, I believe. Hooray! Look, it's doing the thing it's supposed to do. Perfect. So there's the redstone sapling we need. Uh, I don't think we have any mineral stuff handy. I might have saved one over here. I have an extra lapis, so we could just use this one. And then when we get the new lapis, replace that. That would probably be smart. Unless there's a lapis dude coming this way yet. Nope, not yet, but there's that guy. All right, so let's get a bottle. And at some point, I want to, I want to, I want to try out the um, crafting mechanic because this simple networks thing has some kind of crafting mechanic. Maybe next episode we'll look at that. Manage all processing cables on the network. Can automate simple processing transactions. We're gonna have to totally figure out what that means because I have no idea. So there's your mineral sapling, right? Um, I should be able to grow you. I'm assuming this will work. It's probably faster to just do this than it would be to get my watering can. I would think. Maybe that's a lie. Come on, buddy, grow. You should be having this much trouble growing. All I need is one of your berries. All right, maybe you don't want to grow. So you know what? I'm going to do that. And what I'm going to do is just void most of this stuff. Because I don't need this or the jungle leaves. But what I will take are the cocoa beans. Now that's probably going to throw all the cocoa beans in here, which is kind of annoying. So let's take them out and store them in this with a key. And then you can go in there. Now you go in that. Beautiful. Get me a lapis sapling yet? No, because of course not. Why would you? Hopefully mineral berries? Yes. Beautiful. Okay, so that means I should be good for glowstone, right? Um, right now I just need the blaze rod, or the blaze powder, which I can get with a single piece of netherrack. 
um, and a little bit of luck over here with quartz resin. Cool. Two quartz resin? Yes. And then another whack in the crusher thingy. Getting the hang of it. Getting the hang of it. Cool. Okay. Ta-da! Nice. Now if we got ourselves a bonsai dude, do we have any clay? We do. Can we make one of these? Oh man, how great is this? How great is that? That is awesome. And do we have any dirt? We do. Nice. All right, so you're gonna have to go here, here, and here. And we're gonna have to start figuring out, so what should happen, right, is everything that this bonsai plant creates will wind up going in here, right? Because the glowstone sapling, all these things that it produces, Oh, it occasionally produces blaze powder. That's kind of neat. But all the stuff that it produces here um, will wind up in this chest, right? And then we're going to have to take it out and start filtering it. But that's no big deal. So that's glowstone. How's uh, cobalt and ardite saplings look? Pristine wither matter. Oh, well, would you look at that? An ardite sapling, pristine blaze matter. And another star. Guess what we're not making just yet? <laughs> oh my. Well, I mean, having glowstone totally obviously gonna be nice, right? Like we want glowstone. That's that's not even up for discussion. But okay then, we just learned. Um, speaking of glowstone, what's the processing look like um, for you, buddy? So you make glowstone acorns, which go like that. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. And the glowstone resin is the same, right? You can also make glowstone amber, but not in a packager, and that glowstone amber can be used for energized glowstone. Okay, fair enough. All right, so what I want to do is take these two bad boys, right? Whatever over here has space, I think this would work, right? Um, and then you can go right in there, and now we're good with glowstone. Cool? So going forward, any glowstone components will go into that thing. Now we just have to wait for leaves, saplings to drop, and we'll be able to add them to the, to the, to the void filter thing. All right, back right, back in a minute. All right, so let's do this. Let's wrap up the episode here. Uh, we can come back next time and uh, start getting what we need to get, right? Because uh, I'm going to have to figure out what our next course of action is. I'm feeling like mobs should probably be my next course of action, but I definitely want to get some ender pearls because uh, ender pearls would make my life way easier. So I definitely want to get that. All right, for now, Devil 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time and uh, continue along with this very fun mod pack because I'm having a blast. All right, guys, take it easy.